Hello, and welcome to another edition of Movie Paraphrase. Your host, Hanabi! Pat's off doing something else. So, today, because I'm a major Tim Burton fan, I will be doing The Nightmare Before Christmas. I used to watch this. Actually, I still watch this every year, Christmas Eve. I know, she probably watch it during Halloween, but that's... No, 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 no. Stupid dog. Anyway, uh, so, in this movie, there's a dog, skeleton, a doll thing, stuffed with leaves. My, her name's Sally. It's a nice name, I guess. There's a guy whose brain can come out of his head. Um, some other things that I don't even know what they are. Monsters under your bed. Vampires that are weird looking. Um, you know, all that sort of stuff. Um, the plot of the movie is that Jack Skellington, the skelly, skeleton, you know, haha, original names, just say, has to, or wants to do something else other than Halloween. And one day, playing fetch with his ghost dog, he discovers all these other doors. And he decides to go to the, through the door that has a Christmas tree on it. Not that he knows what a Christmas tree is, but there was also Easter and Thanksgiving, and I kind of wish they would make a sequel where he goes through all these other doors because he doesn't learn his lesson, because he's dumb. Um, so he goes in there, and then, you know, uh, another person's favorite, Danny Elfman, he actually voices Jack Skellington, I believe, and he also voices the fat tubby little thing, uh, but he wrote the score for this. And he, go so when Jack goes into the Christmas area, he sings about wondering what the hell the white stuff is, which we all know is snow. Or at least I hope we all know the white stuff is snow. Yeah. Anyway, so he goes there, he explores, singing, all the while, da -da 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 -da, singing. Um, and then he comes back, and he decides to tell his whole Halloween town all about the adventure he had in the snow. And Sally's all like, oh no, this is going to end badly. I don't like it. Oh, wham, my arm fell off. No. Um, then there's more singing as they try to make Christmas gifts. And, oh, Lock, Shock, and Barrel. That's their names. That's their names. Jack sends Lock, Shock, and Barrel to go get San Sandy Claus. And they do. Well, first they come back with the Easter Bunny. And that's not that. But they come back with Santa. And Jack is all like, oh, welcome! Please make him comfortable. And so what do they do? They give him to the Boogeyman. And the Boogeyman tries to kill him. For, well, I guess it's just because he's evil. I'm not sure if there's a reason or, or anything to that. But it's just because he's evil. Um... Then, let's see, Sally's all sad and drugs the guy with the brain out of his head because, I guess, she's owned by him. That's kind of, you know, that probably shouldn't be in a kid's movie that somebody is owned by somebody else, but yeah, you know, whatever. Anyway, so she goes down and tells Jack all about Oogie Boogie and Santa after Jack pretty much ruined Christmas by delivering toys of just heads and scary things for Christmas. People shooting down his Santa sleigh. And he's all sad. But yeah, she go Sally goes and tells him that, oh no, Oogie is trying to kill Santa Claus. And you need to make this right because you're an idiot. So he goes and they have like a singing rap battle type thing. And Jack defeats Oogie Boogie and Lock, Shock, and Barrel, and, uh, for some reason I want to say there's Keyblade involved, but I'm pretty sure that's from Kingdom Hearts, which is a good game, you should play it, um, and, yeah, so they save Santa Claus, and Santa Claus is all like, yay, stay away from Christmas, you jackass, and, yay, everybody lives ever, ever after, I think that's it, yes, the end, woo!